babies. Those baby skunks are adorable. These skunks are practicing their stomp. So the skunk stomp is their warning. That's how skunks let you know, hey buddy, I can spray you. These skunks were found when they were just little babies and their eyes weren't even open yet. They didn't have a home or anyone to take care of them. So they were brought to a really brave animal rescuer. The skunks were so young, they didn't even have fur yet. The rescuer did everything she could to help the skunks get stronger. First, she gave them a ton of food. They would dive right into their food bowls. I'd probably do that for a bowl of spaghetti, cake, almost any food. And they had to drink from milk bottles. Right away, the skunks started to seem happier and they would make cute little skunk sounds. And acted kind of like little puppies, poking their heads in everything and chasing each other all over the place. One found a rubber band and caught it around his foot. The rescuer was so happy to see the skunk babies getting stronger. But the lady was a little worried because skunks have a very particular defense in the wild. They spray a super stinky smell. If like a predator was coming, the skunks would be like, back up, cause I got a tush here that's not afraid to shoot gas. And it smells terrible. And the rescuer was worried they might spray on her. But they didn't, cause they loved her. They saw her as their mom. As the skunks got older, the rescuer knew that they would need to go back into the wild soon. She had to teach them how to be wild skunks. Because who else was going to do it? She put them in a little sandbox to help them learn how to dig and find their own food. She hid real worms inside it. Because it turns out that skunks like fruits, veggies, and worms too. The skunks would dig and dig and goof around. And dig and dig until they finally started to find them. The rescuer knew that if they could find food, they would be perfectly happy in the wild. But there was one more thing. What about their skunk stomp? Would you have to teach them that too? Look at them go. The rescuer didn't need to work. They were super good at it. No teaching needed. The rescuer could see that they were ready to go and would be happy on their own in the wild. Skunks are pretty strange to have in a house, but even the smelliest skunk can be the sweetest friend. Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Dodo Kids! Help the kitten hit the subscribe button. You almost got it!